We are at Numbers 13 and 14 in our journey, devotional journey through the scripture, which is the story of the children of Israel coming to the promised land and 12 spies going and checking it out. Ten of those spies came back and said, indeed, it's an amazing place. It's prosperous, flows with milk and honey. But, and any time you say but, you're negating something. But there are problems, there are obstacles, giants in the land. Uh, there are walled cities. In fact, they got so carried away, a very silly analogy, they said we are like grasshoppers in their side in comparison. And as a result, they actually lost out on the promise of God. It's the problem that we all seem to face when we begin to see things from our own perspective. It creates fear and paralyzes us and we lose out. We begin to focus on ourselves. We see our weaknesses, our inadequacies, uh, we, uh, that our inability, and uh, fear begins to grip our heart, what we are not. The circumstances become our focus, and we lose somehow perspective of God, who he is, his plan, his promise, his purpose, and how big he is. He is, and his promise are, are not, not the issue for us, we become the issue and God becomes the more we dwell on the circumstances and our own inadequacies the smaller God becomes and the larger the obstacles become you see how you see things impacts what you do how you live it's okay to see giants and obstacles and walled cities God doesn't expect us to deny the reality of those things but he is the greater reality he wants us to see things through his eyes and through his promise because how you see things impacts what you do. There's a funny story in the scripture. I love all the humor that's in the scripture, but it's in 2 Kings 6 and it's the story of uh, Elisha, the king of Syria, was at war against Israel and God would tell Elisha, the secret plans that the king of Syria had, and he would tell the king of Israel, and therefore Israel was avoiding being attacked. And that's a rather lengthy story, so I'll just simply cut to the chase. Uh, someone finally told him, hey, Elisha knows the secrets, what you even say in your own bedroom. And so he went by night to where Elisha was staying in the city of Dothan, and with a large army and horses and chariots, it's really funny, just to capture one prophet, he surrounds the city. So the next morning, Elisha's servant goes out to prepare for the day, and he looks and he sees that they're surrounded. Fear strikes his heart, because that's all that he sees. He runs back to Elisha, Master, what are we going to do? And Elisha basically said, I don't see anything to be worried about. And then he prayed for his servant that he would see what he saw. And surrounding the king's army were the horses and chariots of fire of God. Nothing to be worried about. You see, both things were true. They were surrounded. But the God perspective is, I see God's army, God's power, God's promise surrounding and covering us. You can trust him. He's in control. Don't be afraid. Whatever the situation in your life may be true reality. There are a great army or a lot of obstacles or walled cities. But God is the greater reality. See things through his perspective. Believe him, trust him, and enjoy his comfort and peace in your heart, even in the midst of storms. God bless you. Have a great day.